Hello friends, my name is Manoj Kumar from Corp IT. In today's video, we'll see about what is Vault Warden, how you can use it, how you can self-host it in your in your home lab. So, the folks who are not aware of the Bitwarden, so Bitwarden is an official password manager that you can use for to save your password, to save your credit card, and all those details. But it's just a paid thing. Like it, it's also have a free tier also, but if if you want to use it for your organization then they have the paid theme also and this is kind of a closed source then we have the vault warden the best thing of the vault warden this is the rest implementation of bitwarden that is open source it consists of all the premium feature that bitwarden have and that all the feature that you will get it for the free i will make sure i add this github page in the description so that you can Come over here, you can check for yourself what are the features that it provides, how you can host it and everything. So we'll go to my visual code. So this is the Docker Compose file that we'll use for this demo. So we'll use a version three. This is the service that is Vault Warden. The image is coming from here. The container name will be the Vault Warden. The restart policy should be unless stopped. This is the port. As in previous video, I already used 8081. So this time I'm using 82. It asked me for a volume. So as you know from my previous video, I just created a Docker folder. Under the Docker folder, I just created a Vault Warden. Like that, I created all my other application folder and I store all the application data over there. Then this is my time zone. This is the network that I'm using. And this is the net policy. So once you have that, we'll verify whether the network is there in the system or not so for that let me just maximize it if you unable to view it properly i believe this is good so we'll do docker network ls so as you can see here this is our lab network so now we'll run this docker compose file how you can run it you need to run the command docker compose compose hyphen f the file name and up hyphen d so as you can see here, my container is running. How you can verify? You can run docker ps hyphen a then grep with the name vault. So as you can see here, my container is running. Now how you can access it? You can open the auth stack. Let me just open it up. Let me just adjust my photo over here so it will be easy and it will be visible to you. So now if you can you can see here in my docker file this is the jellyfin regarding that i already created a video and this is the vault warden so the best thing about the off stack as i stated in every video this will provide you a fully qualified domain name so if you click over here it will redirect to you this website now the first thing first you need to create an account so this is the email this is just a test email that i'm giving over here and this is the password that i i will about to use over here so once it's done, let me just give my name Manoj and this is the password that I'm about to use. Anyway, this password is something that I generated from the last password password generator. So you can also use that. Check the known data. Yes, that will be okay. Let me just create registration not allowed. The user already is it. Yes, because prior to this video, I already created a user with this name. So let me just do one, two, three uh, admin. Let me do a stuff. Okay, uh, and let me change, use the same, not same, let go with a different password. So this is the password that I'm using and here we go. So if we log in with the staff ID and let me just enter the staff password. So this is what we have. The initial installation of Vault Warden will look something like that. You don't have any credential because this is just a fresh installation. You need to add your password and the best thing is that this is an upstream applicable to the Bitwarden. So if you have, like, I already have a Bitwarden application because I'm al already using the Bitwarden official one for uh, to storing all my passwords. So let's suppose you want to add this to your extension. So it is upstream to the Bitwarden server. So you can utilize the same Bitwarden extension to use your World Warden. So this is the one of the best thing. So there are plenty of features that you can explore around to make sure your infrastructure is safe, your all password are safe. And yes, this is the quick video about the Vault Warden, how you can deploy in your home lab, how you can add to your Chrome extension. I will make sure that I will 
add the docker compose file in the description so it will be easy for you to copy that if you want to make some changes you are free to do that if you have any suggestion if you have any issue while following this video just let me know i will make sure i will help you with the same for the more amazing content like this subscribe my channel we'll see you in the next one till the time peace